Okay guys, today we're going to talk about ground reaction forces in the short game. My name is Christoph Balzig, I'm a DP World Tour player coach. And this is Jean-Paul Fernandez, CTO and biomechanics and sports scientist from smart to move Today, Jean-Paul, uh, we're going to do what? We're going to focus a bit on, about on short game. Uh, we observe that in the long game, when you try to do maximum speed, we observe that forces, ground reaction forces, always happen before impact. To so be able so to, about here, yeah? Yeah, propels the upper body and get the maximum club head speed at impact. Exactly, yeah. Let's discover what happened in short game. Is it different or is it the same? Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the guy, the guinea pig basically, so I'm a pretty decent chip, I would say. So we, we choose me as a guinea pig to do this. So we're going to do a little chip to this pin here. Let's measure it, Jean-Paul, okay? Start yeah. feed detection. Okay. Start swing. So, so. <laughs> okay, Let's what do we have, have here? Let's have a look at your data. So. so as we said before, in the long game, you've got the pick of force before impact, just to be sure you can get the force back from the ground, deliver to the club uh, at impact and properly with maximum club head speed. Here, it's not the goal. You don't try to make your max speed. No, you don't want okay. it. Okay. So, if we look at the peak, you load during the backswing. And right there, we've got another vertical peak. I'm going to go to there. So you lead toward the lead leg. And as you see, you maintain that pressure. It's only 102, 103%. And you maintain that pressure during all on the impact, even in the follow through. So. Is it wrong or is it not? Well, I think it's correct. It's correct, absolutely. As you don't try to make the maximum speed, you don't try to propel and get the ballistic motion. Here you try to control the club head speed from before the ball and after the ball, just to be sure that you can control the depth of your shot. Okay, I think there's another thing to it, uh, Jean-Paul, maybe you can confirm. Because when you're doing a chip here, yeah, and when I do a small vertical peak at impact, yeah, that actually keeps me away from the ground with the club a little bit. So if you somebody who has problems digging the club into the ground, yeah, probably mm -hmm. that's a very good um, thing to think about. That right about impact, you want to have this very small peak maybe, but the timing I think is important, yeah? It's a constant push, I would say. So basically it's, it's saving you from digging into the ground. Do you agree? Definitely, yeah. yeah okay. okay. So controlling distance is totally different than trying to control, to make the maximum speed. So you don't use the four the same way. Here you just control the speed all along the follow through. And when you do max force, you just try to get it max at one in point. Jean-Paul, now this was like a seven meter chip or something, not very long. What would happen, let's say, if I had a 20 meter chip or something? What would happen with the, with the force? Shorter thing? shot, you got even the peak later, later and later. Because you control even more the speed and you don't try to go faster. So you don't try to make max force. You just try to maintain constant speed. So more control, shorter shot, later peak. Okay, so we're gonna try a 20 meter uh, chip now, okay? Start yeah. swing. So let's see what happened. So we expect to see that the peak is coming even later. So you see the impact is here. Yeah. And your peak of force is after impact. Okay, that's interesting. So effectively, that's what you do. Okay, and how many percent? So it was like 110 here, which was like 7% more. So I was pushing a little bit more yeah, into the ground, on. but later on. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. That's the way you can control the different depths and the kind of shot you do. So I think that's one thing people have to think about and also a, a way to use the force plate in the short game. Of course. And that you have to understand that it actually changes. It's not the same. Remind that the peak sequence is the same. You've got the lateral peak, the rotational peak second, and the vertical peak third. So the sequence is the same order. It's the same. It's just delayed because you control the speed instead of creating the max speed. I think that's interesting because many people actually think a short game is only moving the arms, doing nothing with the body, but we can actually measure force happening in, also in the little shot, okay? So that's very, very interesting. Sequence similar, just delayed in time. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I hope you like that. Please subscribe to the channel, push the notification bell, and there are going to be some more videos with Jean-Paul and me and Smart to Move. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.